My name is Renji Kassam. I'm a second year MBA student, soon graduating. And I'm from Nigeria. And before business school, I qualified as a pharmacist and spent uh, about seven years working in sales and account management roles within the pharmaceutical industry in Nigeria. My name is Kyle Erdman. I'm currently a second year MBA student, also a dual degree and master's in economic development. Prior to business school, I was a Green Beret in Army Special Forces, deployed twice to Syria, and spent a little bit of time in northern Iraq. Uh, so as I reflect back on my two years spent here at Owen, um, I just thought to, to have this discussion with Kyle, uh, because you did something at the start of my journey here that means so much to me. Um, I remember I was one of the people that walked right until the very last day of July uh, and hopped on the plane on the very second day of August to come to the US to resume my MBA program. And I landed in Nashville um, a day before orientation. Very confused. I had no housing sorted. Um, I, I was at a very, very um, stressful place at that point in time. And the very next morning, put on my suit because I had a headshot to take. Uh, and I was walking to campus with lots of questions in my head. And I saw uh, Kyle on my way. And Kyle was, for, for the way I was dressed, he was way underdressed. He was, he was, <laughs> he was wearing a shirt and T-shirt. And so my first assumption was he can't be in the business school, but at least he can know where to, to, to point me to. So uh, I graciously asked him, um, do you happen to know where the Owen Graduate School of uh, Management is? Uh, and Kyle said, yes, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm working up there. And so we started our, our long walk and chatting along the way. And I remember a question he asked me. He said, uh, where are you from? And I said, I'm from Nigeria. Uh, where are you living at the moment in the US? Uh, and I said, we actually live in the hotel uh, down the street. And he said, whoa, that must be expensive. Uh, and when I told him how much I paid, he was actually concerned. And he said, um, I'm actually doing a, a dual degree here. And uh, I have a couple of international students that I've been friends with. Uh, and they stay in this temporary housing that I can show you uh, uh, to. And if that works for you, that could be a good place. You could settle in for a bit before you figure out your permanent housing. And uh, I, I felt really good because for me, that was the first time I was experiencing such kindness, especially coming from the kind of environment I was coming from. And when we got to school, he offered to take me down there after all of our engagements for the day. And on our way there, he also offered to help me set up my internet and my phone lines. And when we got to the, to, to the place he mentioned, it was perfect for me. And I was able to negotiate a deal that allowed me to stay there for a while. And so for me, I, that really touched me because uh, beyond just showing me to the place, which was a simple question that I asked him, he went far and above to not only help me get settled in, he offered to continuously um, also show me around uh, Nashville. He offered to show me, to take me uh, grocery shopping. Uh, and the day I finally found accommodation, he also came with his truck and helped me to also move. So that story has always touched me, and I've always just been curious as to the kind of mindset he had to do that. Uh, although when I got to Owen, I realized that it was a culture that everybody lived by, but particularly I was just more concerned uh, and really curious about why Kyle did that. So Kyle, if you can care to share. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so to provide context, you know, prior to business school, when I was deployed overseas in Syria, I had a lot of locals that went well above and beyond to help me out, making me feel comfortable when I was there. So. Only to a limited extent do I kind of know what it's like to be that outsider and be in an unfamiliar place like that. And helping that limited help, even though it seemed insignificant to me at that time when mm. I was just talking to you, mm. and it seemed insignificant to the people overseas, it definitely made all the difference for me when I was over there. And I'm really glad it's helped you along the way too. Amazing, uh, thank you so much. I, I think for me, something he mentioned that really stuck with me is the fact that uh, the little thing uh, made a difference and also the fact that uh, for the people doing it, they might not feel they were doing much, uh, but just from uh, the, the perspective of someone receiving that act of kindness, I just want to tell you that it, it meant so much to me. Um, I was back on the phone that evening speaking to my wife and your name came up uh, and I've never ceased to mention your name every, to everyone that I, uh, I spoke to. It, it, that experience sets the tone for my entire Owen experience. Um, and for me, the past two years has been like the greatest act of kindness that I've experienced in my entire existence on earth. And I, I say that with all seriousness because it's exactly true. And you, you set the tone for that for me. Uh, and that's the credo that I've lived by to also help others. So uh, I just wanted to tell you that I'm really, really grateful you did that. Um, I've seen that also, that spirit in 
a lot of all of the interactions that I've had at Owen. Uh, and um, that's the, the culture we're trying to build. And that's the culture we should live by here at Owen, I believe. And yeah, it, it means a lot to me to be able to have yeah. just little things help you out and help other people out along the way. Yeah. And it is truly what makes a smaller community like Owen's that great community where people know each other and people will gladly help each other yeah. at any given point in time. Yeah. I know you did the same thing for me, you know, even after that. Um, so, yeah, I'm really glad it meant a lot to you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank yeah, you. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah.